up guys? This is Bruno Fe with another video. New Thursday, new video. So expectation versus reality experience is pretty real in figure skating. <laughs> we feel like a lot of people, especially definitely a lot of our friends, think that when you start figure skating, you go and just do all this twirls and all these spins and all Triple these jumps. <laughs> yeah, literally the most common question we get since we start, since like day one, that we started figure skating are like, are you guys doing triple toe loops yet? Or mm -hmm. are you gonna show me some cool spins? And the reality of it is that most of the figure skating training is just a bunch of edges and strokes and crossovers essentially over and over and over again for hours. But it's definitely fulfilling and it definitely has its own charm, I guess. By the way, guys, make sure to subscribe because next week we're gonna publish our two-month progress video. Don't forget to have videos every Thursday also. <laughs> Up until recently, we've mostly been working on our individual skating skills, learning edges, learning basic footworks, learning some basic moves in the field, starting to dip our toes just a little bit, toes, our toe picks, <laughs> starting to dip our toe picks a little bit into jumping and spinning just a little bit but we haven't really been focusing much or even trying much to really work on our partnering and, and mm. skating together and it's a whole new world and it's a whole different skill from just normal skating I feel like we have to restart the whole process of learning how to move together our Learn to Skate coach, Kala, has organized this amazing opportunity for us to take a private lesson in ice dance with an ice dance Olympian, actually, which is absolutely just beyond what we hoped for or what we imagined. So this was really great and that gave us an opportunity to start working on our partnering. Our private lesson coach, Dmitry Dunn, is a Ukrainian champion and is an Olympian. He participated in Olympics doing ice dance. He's, I'd say, you know, pretty badass overall. Plays with the big kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope we did not disappoint too much. The private lesson was very useful because we focused mainly on our basics. We, Which is what we need most, I think. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> so we focused more on um, skating together. Figuring out the frame, figuring out the handholds. Focusing on like a... Not uh, tripping each other. <laughs> <laughs> not tripping each other, focusing on balancing uh, together. You know, which is not very, very easy to do. Lots of crossovers. Perfected our strokes. No, we didn't perfect it. I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we uh, tried. <laughs> Thank you.
working on it. Yeah. Definitely, it's a work in progress. But it was definitely a lot of fun. And I definitely feel like this is something that we needed most. Because for us mm. as dancers, memorizing the steps is not too big of a deal. It's just choreography and especially beginner's dances, the choreography we feel like is pretty easy. There's not much to memorize, but where we do struggle is the actual basics as, you know, not, not falling in yeah. our faces, basically. <laughs> and just doing simple stuff, doing stroking, doing crossovers, having the right position, not pulling on each other, not pushing each other. The proper edges. It's... Yeah. It turned out to be quite a bit harder <laughs> than you would think. We actually had way more to learn than what we thought, just with that, just with the basics. One of the big life lessons, I guess, we learned from this entire process also that we found the figure skating world so far is so welcoming and so supportive. We come from the partner dance world and social dance world where in our practice, it's kind of everyone for themselves and uh, you know, each one of us or each partnership is trying to figure out their own routines, their own training taking some private lessons here and there, but they're pretty separated from each other. It's kind of hard to find structure and it's definitely pretty hard to find support and guidance. And we just received so much of that in our figure skating journey that we're just overwhelmed. We feel so grateful. We feel so supported and cared for. We get so much advice. We get so much help and it's just incredible. And this is something that we really feel like we're gonna take this experience and we're gonna try to transfer it and pass it on to our dance students as well. It just makes everything easy to, you know, to learn and to progress.